G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to be doing the second half of my ladder predictions video. I'm going to be doing the bottom eight, which is now the bottom 10 as of about 10 years ago. Before we get into this video, if you guys are after some more Kados, then hit the link below and join my Patreon. It is $5 a month. There'll be weekly footy tipping videos. You can enter in to my footy tipping competition. I'll also have exclusive and bonus content on there. And also, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the link below. It would mean the absolute world to me. Let's grow this army. Let's grow the people. And uh, yeah, it would be amazing if you guys could hop on the community. To kick things off, it is pretty difficult stuff. There are a lot of teams in and around the eight that I've predicted that I think probably could miss it. And there's a lot of teams just outside of the eight that I think could probably make it. There's about four teams that I think could make it who I didn't list in the top eight. The first team being Essendon. I think they're going to have a similar year to what St Kilda had last year. So St Kilda in 2020 made finals and then missed out in 2021. It wasn't a huge back step, but they plateaued for a season. I think that could probably happen to the Bombers this year. They made finals last year. I don't see them having a huge back step. I don't think they're going to slide massively, but I think they might plateau and I know they made eighth position so i think going from eighth to ninth isn't like a drastic slide backwards so the bombers are in ninth for mine this is when it gets really really tricky i've got the saints in 10th they have been in and around that sort of eighth to 12th position for about six years now so it's sort of hurting my brain that the saints are still not quite there but that's how cutthroat the season's going to be it's going to be a really tough and tight season and it's going to come down to the wire so the saints for mine are, i've got them in 10th but that doesn't really sit well with me the next team is the giants in 11th doesn't sit well with me either to be honest i can't see <laughs> this is a this is a weird prediction when the man who predicts things starts telling you his predictions are wrong i don't really see the giants finishing 11th it, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense in my head but when i started to order the ladder the giants kept getting lower and lower uh that would be bizarre, I think, if the Giants finish 11th. I'm almost calling that that'll be wrong, but um, that's where I have them in my ladder predictions. Freo at 12th. Once again, the Dockers have shown a little bit in the last couple of years, and we're just waiting for the proof of their improvement. Uh, it hasn't quite happened just yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if the Dockers have one of those years where they hop up. I'm calling it that the Blues and the Tigers are going to be the teams to hop up into the eight. But these three, four teams that I've just named who are missing the eight, it's sort of hurting me that they're not in the eight. It's just not really making sense. Now the ladder starts to get a little bit more comfortable. From here on in, I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with my decisions. I've got Gold Coast in 13th. I think they're probably the best of a bad bunch. And I think this is the year before they really make the jump. I think they're going to take some scalps this year, similar to last year. I think this will be the last year of the Gold Coast Suns being horrendous. The next team I've got is Hawthorne. I think they're probably the better team out of that bottom three or four of the last couple of years. Uh, the scalps that they pulled off last year was very, very impressive. Um, you know, they drew with the Ds, they knocked off the Lions, they knocked off the Bulldogs. Uh, showed, some, showed some skill and prowess the Hawkers so I've got them in 14th position I love their forwards Cozzy and Mitch Lewis will be some of the best key forwards in the next like 10 years like one of the best duos going around in the league so the Hawks I've got in 14th now we get into the bottom four and this is where C McDonald breaks some hearts West Coast 15th I think they have a slide similar to what Collingwood had last year where they were sort of a top eight team to being not nowhere near it. I know they didn't make the eight last year, but there is that sort of half thought in your head. Can the Eagles go one more? I think if they go one more, it's only a matter of time before they drop off the face of the earth. Anyway, the West Coast Eagles for mine in 15th. North Melbourne, 16th. I love the ruse. I love the young ruse. And I don't really think many teams win the wooden spoon twice in a row. So I'm expecting the ruse to improve a little bit. Adelaide, I think, are going to plateau again. Yeah, it's just... Um, very, very young, inexperienced. Their back line is very inexperienced. Their midfield's very inexperienced. They're just so inexperienced. Um, I like their top end talent. Riley Tilthorpe is an absolute star in the making. I just don't think they're going to really damage many sides this year and 
It is what it is. Sorry, Crowies fans. It is what it is. And last but not least, I've got the pie. So I picked them last in my preseason predictions. That sits quite comfortably with me. I, I sort of look at the turnover. I look at the talent they've lost in the last few years. It took a toll last year. I don't see a Sydney Swans type jump back into the eight. But if there was ever a team to do it, I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me the Collingwood organisation to be able to rally off the back of a bad year. Uh, I'm writing them off, but just at the end of the year, if I saw a vast improvement, I'd go, well, that's the Collingwood way. Anyway, guys, that is it for my bottom eight slash 10. I don't know why I keep calling it a bottom eight. I don't like calling it a bottom 10. That just sounds really wrong. But that's it for my ladder. My full ladder is done and dusted. Once again, guys, if you are after some more content, there is more content on my Patreon, Patreon forward slash more chaos. I've got behind the scenes vlogs. I've got exclusive content. I'm going to fire up my weekly footy tipping next week. It's over there for $5 a month on my Patreon. And I just want to say I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone getting around the content. And I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon.